Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the long dark. Uh, last time we left off, we were right here in this building. Um, what I didn't realize is I forgot that it auto saves in certain places, so uh, I had to come back in and go through all that stuff I went through uh, that you watched me do in the last episode. But either way, I figured I would start us out right here where we left off, and I needed the fire to warm up anyway. Uh, I was pretty, pretty frozen there for a little while. Uh, just now getting back up, as you can see. We're going to hang out right here for just a second. We're going to take off and go up these stairs and search this warehouse. Hopefully we find something useful, something good. Uh, I'm hoping to find uh, a bedroll so I can lay it down and, and get some rest. Because as of right now, as you can see, um, my stamina is drained and it is draining faster. So, But, uh, yeah, so this is where we are head around and look oh it looks like there's snow coming in the building up here it doesn't look pleasant at all oh, what is this scrap metal cedar firewood take it a whole bunch of cedar fire how did that oh it came through the window no kidding all right oh look suitcase suitcase a fire striker here yes that's handy to have in case we run out of matches, which we have thousands of, apparently. Kind of want the salty crackers, but at the same time, they dehydrate you really quickly. Accelerant, definitely take it. All right. So, and I don't want to run. Uh, let's head back down over here to these... Uh, whatever these things are, these, these little uh, platforms, something or others, I have no idea. I'm going to head down and check these out. Anything up here useful? Not here. What's the stairs going up? Anything under the stairs? No, there's not. All right. Oh, my stamina is so low I'm encumbered now. That's nice. Uh, let's drop some of this firewood probably. Let's go ahead and drop that. I've got books I can burn. We've got other stuff, so. Don't really have to have it. The light fixture that fell? Yeah, it sure is. A couple of them laying down here. Anything up here that's useful? Nothing. Alright, let's check this side. Uh-huh. Thought I saw something back here. Head on up here. Maybe we'll find something as useful as we did on the other side. The suitcase was a pretty nice find, I think. Oh yeah, look at here. Man, this, this, is a, this is the room we came in. I think I missed that med kit when I walked back through. So when we leave, I'm going to get that med kit. And there's nothing on this side. Okay then. Looks like the front end of the building had some pretty good stuff in it. Uh, the warehouse side, not so much. Didn't find much in here. Uh, I'm to the point now that I am completely drained. I've got to be very careful not to just pass out. All right, guys, we made it back up to the top here. Uh, I think I've searched. Yeah, I've searched all these containers again, because I didn't do it the first time. We're getting some good stuff out of this, so definitely, definitely want to pick that up. Um, and I wish there was something I could make a bedroll out of. I make anything close to a bedroll. I cannot. That's not good. Uh, we are completely exhausted, and we do need to drop some of this. We got three of these. Oh, uh, there's no way I'm getting down. Uh, man, it really put us in a bad spot here.
Honestly, I think the best thing we can do at the moment is just head on out. Really want this gas can. I picked it up in the first one, but I'm already encumbered. It doesn't matter. I'm probably going to pass out and die somewhere in the woods here. Uh, I didn't think to look at my stamina before we left. Need to find a little shack or something. That'd be nice. Nope, that's just the bottom of the dam. Uh, well, there's where the snow came through the window. Pretty crazy looking. Uh, yeah, a little shack or something with a bed in it would be great. Uh, just a bedroll sitting out somewhere would be amazing. I'd throw a fire up and throw a bedroll in it. Right here. I should have brought the bedroll. I will never leave it at the cabin ever again. Because this is, uh, this is gonna get pretty tough here getting back. I don't know what exactly is that way. But I know we have a cottage. A long ways away down here. I don't know if we're gonna make it back or not. All right, guys. Uh, as you can see, we've made it back past the derailment. And we're headed back toward the cabin, but I just wanted to show you that I, I'm 97% uh, awake and dropping. I'm so exhausted, I am at risk for hypothermia. I have five hours of daylight left. The cabin's just up around this bend here. And I really want to make it back so that I can save there and not die out here. Um, I'd like to get in there, get warm, and get some rest, eat something, drink something, get fueled up, and then we're going to head the other way down the train tracks. Ah, home sweet home. We've made it back to the cabin. Uh, well, we're we're close to the cabin. I'm not gonna say we've made it yet. We haven't. We're not in the door, so can't call it a uh, a win yet. But we're getting close. So I'm probably gonna go in here and get some rest and get fueled back up, drop some of this gear, and then we're gonna head that way down the railroad tracks because we just came from that way. So. We've been to the dam, we've seen what it had to offer, it's a pretty nice little loot spot. And now we're going to head the other way. Uh, we've also done the, done the frozen lake and all that kind of stuff, the cabins down there. So we're going to go in here, get rested up, get fueled up, and we're going to head the other way in just a moment. Alright guys, so I got into the cabin and realized I didn't have any firewood at all to warm up. And as you can see, when I came out, there is a blizzard going on. So I have to keep my bearings about where my cabin is. I'm trying to find just some wood to burn, and there is none. Winds howling. You can see the snow's blowing sideways. The grass is blowing over. The trees are moving around. It's uh, pretty hectic weather, but luckily there's a log right here we can pick up. Convert this into sticks and burn it, maybe? Yes, break it down. Let's get some... Uh, oh man, look at that. Look how cold I just got. Got some cedar firewood. That will work for right now. All we're, oh, wait a minute. Stick. We can burn these too, maybe. Um, I definitely don't want to get out here and die of hypothermia. So we're going to head back. Uh, get this fire started. Cook up some meat. And... Go from there because we may end up postponing our trip to the next episode. This has taken me a lot longer to get prepared to go than I thought it would because I thought I had plenty of firewood. I did not. So, um, yeah, we may be a minute or two. We'll use gasoline. That's fine. Who doesn't like cooking venison over open gasoline? It tastes so good. Uh, add fuel. Cook this venison or whatever this is, deer meat. Uh, the cold's definitely getting better being by the fire, so that's nice. Uh, venison is cooked. I'm going to stand next to this fire. We may actually sit next to it. See if that's warming us up. It is. Good deal. going to eat some of this. And get, uh, get full on some calories. We're going to drink some of this and do away with some of that, uh, that thirst. Uh, we should be pretty close now. I uh, still gotta eat, so let me go over here to the fridge. Yes, I said the fridge. It looks like a fridge. It's a mini fridge. Uh, we're gonna grab some food out of here. 
what do I have that's good for sardines to work? Oh yeah, no double clicking. Coffee. Um, I think herbal tea is definitely good. Cat stock. Condensed milk. Got a bunch of chocolate bars. Some granola bars may be okay. Let's eat granola bars. That'll be fine. We're just gonna go ahead and eat a whole bunch of this stuff. And eat that. And the sardines. And then the herbal tea should take care of the rest of it because I think it gives you a little bit uh, of hunger back too. It does. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go back into this. We're gonna grab a few items for the road. So we're gonna grab jerky. I guess we'll have to take a couple of chocolate bars. They don't weigh that much, so that's probably a good idea. Um, banged up pork and beans. We can take that. Uh, that should be about all we need. Uh, we got water. We get back next to the fire. Actually, how long does this fire have on it? Uh, hour and six minutes. Let's go ahead and add fuel. We got two hours and 16 minutes, so we're going to sleep for two hours. And we're awake. There we go. We'll finish dropping some of this stuff off, and then we're going to head out. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, the blizzard has died down some. The wind is still pretty strong, but that's that's fairly normal. So we're going to go a little piece down through here and see what we can find. If we don't find anything pretty quick, probably just going to call it an episode. Uh, I do have a bedroll with me, although I don't remember if it saves, but we will find out for sure because I'm probably going to end up trying it. As you can see, my stamina, uh, water, and food are all okay. And uh, there should be plenty of firewood and stuff out here I can grab to make a fire. I do have accelerant, matches, flare, uh, basic necessities for food and water. So we should be okay for a few minutes. But we're just going to run on down. Yes, I am running. I know I shouldn't be sprinting, but I am. Um, we're going to run on down here. And is that the tunnel that I remember? That might be the tunnel I remember. Let's go ahead and grab this firewood just in case we don't see any more. And break that down. We'll get a tinder plug and three logs, which will be more than enough for us to sleep through the night. Six hours of daylight left. If we can find another cabin or something to crash in for the night, that'd be great. Don't know what that is down. That's the logging place, I'm pretty sure, down the hill there. So I'll have to explore that at some point uh, to make sure that's what that is. I'm not 100% certain. So. But if this is the tunnel, doesn't this take me to another area? I think it does. I can't remember exactly where it takes me, but we're about to find out here in just a second. What's this thing? Oh, it's a logging car. Man, this train, uh, tunnel collapse. Yeah, a body over here. Something, what is this? It's not a body. Not a not a corpse. This is a first aid. Nice. We get out of this bandage. Antiseptic. I'll take that. That's better than nothing for sure. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Oldie beef jerky. We're gonna eat that too. You know why? Because we're starving. We're in the middle of the wilderness in the winter time, middle of Canada, and we're for. Oh, there's a there's some more stuff. Simple tools. And we'll take that and some firewood. This goes absolutely nowhere. All right. Well, guys, uh, I think I'm going to head back to the cabin because this doesn't go anywhere. And we will make our way around. Uh, I think that's the logging place down there. We're going to find our way around to another area in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of this and other Let's Plays. I do play other games. Check those out as well. Thank you so much. Later, guys.